Rolling coal is a very sensitive topic in the diesel community that sometimes gets us in trouble. So let's talk about it and how you can roll coal. Let's be honest, as a diesel owner, I think we've all tried to stomp on the pedal and looked in the rear view mirror to see if you've left a big cloud of smoke. I feel like we've all tried it at least once. I know I've tried it with my first LOI Duramax about five years ago. The day I bought it, I was driving home. That truck was bone stock, didn't even have a leveling kit. Only thing it had was like an aftermarket radio and a subwoofer. Other than that, it was 100% factory. And I was driving home. I was so excited that I finally had a diesel truck. I've seen other diesel trucks on the road blowing black smoke. Hey, let's see if mine does it too. So I stomped on it and nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, I assumed every diesel truck blew black smoke, so I figured my bone stock LOI would be able to do it too. And I was also kind of curious about why my truck wasn't making the whistly sound that I was hearing from other trucks. All right, can you guys hear the turbo? I will go a little bit more in depth on how you can achieve that whistle sound you hear from diesel trucks. So if that's something you guys want me to talk about, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I will make another video talking specifically about how that whistle sound can be achieved. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to roll coal. We'll be talking about how that can be achieved here in a second. Before we begin, let's talk about what is rolling coal. Rolling coal is a term used for dumping black smoke out of the exhaust. Probably seen it on TV, Diesel Brothers. I know they got in a huge trouble for, for that. A federal judge ordered the custom truck makers to pay more than $800,000 to the U.S. government. On YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or wherever. Probably seen diesel trucks blowing black smoke on protesters, bicyclists, and pedestrians. Some drivers intentionally roll coal on hybrid vehicles. There's a term for that, it's called Prius repellent. This is done on purpose to rebel against environmentalists, hoping to intentionally offend those drivers who are typically viewed as environmentally friendly. People who drive hybrids or Priuses, especially a few years ago before Tesla, they were in a category known as environmentally friendly. People used to roll coal on those vehicles just to intentionally upset them. They're associated with being in a specific political party, so it's done intentionally just to kind of piss them off. Going back to what I said earlier, the first day I bought my LOI, I tried to see if it would blow black smoke like all the other diesel trucks that I've seen around town or online. Turns out rolling coal requires modifications. Those modifications can be narrowed down into two simple categories. One is called tuning and the other is called deleting. We'll dive into what deleting is. It's a term you probably all heard. You probably hear people talking about, oh, is that is that Duramax? Is that Cummins tuned and deleted? Is, is your truck tuned and deleted? You've probably all heard it at some point, even if you're not a diesel guy. Modern day diesels come equipped with emission systems such as EGR, DPF, or DEF. The purpose of emission system is to reduce NOx level and keep particulate matter from exiting out the tailpipe. As for Duramaxes, LB7 was pre-emissions with the exception of California models. LOI was the first year they implemented the uh, EGR. LOI and the LBZs have EGR. LMM was the first year of DPF and then with LMLs, DEF was introduced. As far as Fords and Cummins go, I know 6.0 were the first year for EGRs, I believe. Was that six fours had a lot of emissions issues? Leave a comment below if you are a Ford or a Cummins guy. Let us know a little bit more information about the emission system on those platforms because I would like to know. And we can definitely talk more in depth about how emission systems work and the purpose of them and if that's also something you're interested in also leave a comment below so that way i have an idea of how many of you guys would be interested in that topic as well so let me know if you want how you can achieve the turbo sound the whistle sound and also let me know if you want to dive a little bit deeper into emissions as well now that i've talked about emission systems on diesel trucks i hope it's kind of starting to make sense why not every diesel truck is going to blow black smoke. What's up, Donnie?
We got Donnie here. All right, Donnie, be honest. The first day you bought your Duramax, <laughs> did you try to roll Colt with I your stuff? I knew I couldn't. You knew you couldn't? Yeah. You knew it? Oh, wait, because he Cause had a dump the truck. System. Oh, because Donnie yeah. had a dump truck. Or it has, yeah, he had a dump truck. So you knew, he knew how the emission system and tuning and bigger injectors worked. Okay, so that's not fair. Because yeah. I tried it with my LOI. You did? Yeah, I tried it the first day. I stomped on it to see if it would roll coal. Did it? Hell no. Because <laughs> the emission system. I'm actually really glad Donnie brought up the emission system because we just went over that. Like I said earlier, it requires two, two modifications called tuning and deleting. And deleting is a term for whenever you're removing your emission system. So that's a slang. In order to do that, in order to remove factory equipped emission system, you have to tune your vehicle. Otherwise it's gonna throw a check engine light. Your truck's not gonna run. It's just gonna have a bunch of issues. So you have to tune in order to delete. So if you delete, it needs to be tuned. Yeah, and the purpose of tuning is to bypass the emission system. It's tricking the computer into thinking that the emission system is still there so that way the truck still runs when tuners make tunes it's also to increase horsepower most of the times you'll be getting five different levels or you can get single tunes but one of the most popular ways people tune their vehicles is doing the dsp5 you get five different tunes optimized stock 30 60 100 120 150 180 it really depends on the company and the tuner but those are usually how five different power levels work now you're probably thinking that's all it requires to roll coal that's not it there's still more to it than just removing emissions components and tuning the emissions out of it black smoke you see is simply unburnt fuel exiting the vehicle trucks tuned from factory simply are not tuned aggressive enough to flood the engine with fuel this is where custom tuning with hot tune come in overfueling is the primary cause of black smoke often present in higher horsepower tunes you usually won't see black smoke with lower horsepower tunes so tunes one through three you really won't see a lot of black smoke tunes four and five is where you would see black smoke coming out usually at wide open throttle who tunes your truck or whose tuning you go with is also another huge factor as well if you've been watching my videos you probably have heard me talk about that's a nice clean tune that's a dirty tune clean tune means obviously not blowing a lot of black smoke even at wide open throttle dirty tune means if you see a lot of black smoke especially whenever you are speeding up or whenever you're at wide open throttle so that was one of the things i did like about my motor ops tuning, especially on my LML. With my 2011 LML Duramax, wide open throttle, and you would only see a little puff of gray smoke. And that was about the most I would be able to roll coal with my LML. And that is what I would refer as a clean tune. I'm not trying to throw under the bus or anything like that. Their tunes are super aggressive. They are really fun to drive. However, some of the tune trucks that I've been in, even my LOI, Tune 5 wide open throttle did blow a decent amount of black smoke. several friends with tunes on their LML. This was years and years ago when off-road tunes were somewhat still legal to purchase online. Also back about 10 years ago, smoke tunes or lope tunes were pretty popular. with my first LOI, I remember looking at tunes. Back then, you could buy off-road tunes and there were, there were a lot of different tuners out there that you could choose from. I remember one website offered 
Lope Tune, and then the other website was offering Smoke Tune, which, you know, it's part of your DSP-5. You can have it to set to where the first setup is your Lope Tune. Customize it however you want, which was kind of cool. But yeah, depending on the tuner, some tuners offered it, some tuners didn't. Now, to recap, rolling coal is a practice of modifying a diesel engine to produce large amounts of black smoke. Your stock diesel truck will not automatically roll coal. And that's a big misconception. I thought so when I first bought my truck. That was something that I thought a long time ago. When I had a gas truck, I just kind of assumed that every diesel truck rolled coal because I, I knew nothing about uh, the emission system or anything like that. I was kind of ignorant to it. Modification required to rolling coal are deleting your emission system and custom higher horsepower tunes or bad slash dirty tunes. There are other factors that can contribute to truck blowing black smoke. Some trucks can blow a lot of black smoke if there's a boost leak or anything like that. So this video isn't to encourage you guys to delete and tune your truck and blowing black smoke, but simply to provide some education for the diesel community or just the truck community in general. I know when I had a gas truck, I was really fascinated by diesels. Remember, deleting is illegal at Bushwood, sir. And if your state has inspections, you may not be able to pass unless you're a gangster like Don. Yes, sir.